The feeling of a close match is pretty indescribable. Everything is so loud. There's the sounds of people's blades crashing against each other. The sounds of the scoreboards going off. Fencers screaming after they score a touch. I'm not focusing on the referee, if they're gonna give me the touch or not. I try to keep it to within things that I can control. Deep breaths, I'm calming myself, I'm zoned out. I'm just focusing on what my plan is. For me, I've worked really hard throughout my entire career to be able to kind of just like drown it all out. And it's like a sort of out of body experience. You take that deep breath and you're transported. When the mask comes on, you really have to be able to focus in on just yourself and your opponent. My name is Quinn Smith. I'm a second year undergraduate here at Brandeis, and I'm a varsity athlete on the men's fencing team. I initially discovered fencing through my mother. She found a discount offered by my local fencing club on some classes. And being an eight or nine year old, I was really stoked about sword fighting, so of course I said yes. And I realized pretty quickly that it wasn't too much slashing and swashbuckling, but I still really, really enjoyed the sport and I stuck with it. The fencing team was a pretty big reason for why I ended up choosing Brandeis. I just really liked the coaching staff and the team culture at Brandeis, so that was a main reason behind why I committed. But also, I enjoyed the fact that there was the culture within the athletics department of that balance that you find in D3, Division Three athletics, where schoolwork is still important, you're encouraged to like enjoy the college experience and develop interests outside of your sport. I think the thing I like most about the sport is definitely the mental aspect of it. I think it's really, really interesting how different fencers build different strategies. There's no one perfect build or no one perfect skill set that makes you an elite fencer. Nothing really is like unbeatable, which is one of the things that lends it that really unique strategic element. It is important to be pretty fast, and you have to be able to solve problems on the fly, to change your strategy, to be able to analyze what your opponent is doing and react to that. It's very helpful, very important to also be strong, to have good stamina, because sometimes fencing bouts can go for longer than you'd think, and at the end of a long meet day, you've been fencing a bunch of schools, Whoever gets tired quicker might end up losing the bout. There's nothing like winning a really close bout, especially at a college meet. There's nothing like witnessing one of your teammates win a really close bout either. In fencing, similar to other sports, everybody you know yells when they celebrate, but in fencing it's a little bit different because you're not really like out there on a stadium with a bunch of fans that are drowning out your noise. It's kind of like, it's right there and everybody can see that display of emotion. So, you know, you might score a touch, you let out a yell, your teammates are going crazy, you know, people are giving you high fives. It's really a good rush. My favorite part of the Brandeis fencing team is definitely how close-knit we are. It's definitely a super inclusive and welcoming community. We have all kinds of different athletes on the team and within our culture we know that our diversity is one of our strengths. Everybody brings a different skill set, a different perspective, and the combination of all of those things make us stronger as a unit. We're always like lifting each other up in practice, offering each other advice, but also like holding each other accountable and really pushing each other to be the best athletes we can be. Fencing is a really special sport to me. It's let me travel across the country. It has definitely been like one of the most influential things in my life so far. It's gotten me into a pretty awesome school and I've gotten to meet some really, really incredible people.